and welcome to day 14 of Simon's 30 day challenge. And I'm Simon from Swing Dance UK. The first exercise we're doing is a breathing exercise just to get us really set up for the day. And we're just gonna take some nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the nose, just paying attention to a slow, deliberate breath and focusing on something that made you smile yesterday. That could be the smile on somebody else's face. It could be something you did that you were proud of, a piece of work you finished or something nice that you saw. So you can relax the eyes, you can close them if you wish, stand tall, nice posture, but still relaxed. Breathe in through the nose, nice deep breath, fill up the rib cage, fill up the belly. And breathe out. This time, another slow, deliberate breath, but a little bit slower. And again, what made you smile yesterday? One more time. We're going to do another series of slow, deliberate breaths, but this time focus on what you'd like to achieve today. Something you'd like to accomplish for yourself or maybe for somebody else. So nice and slow and controlled. Breathe in. So as you breathe in and breathe out, try and think what do you want to achieve today? Or what do you want to do on behalf of someone else? One more time. Who are you gonna give your A game to? One last deep breath, bigger than you've taken all day. That's your eyelids open. And it's time to begin with our thought of the day. Now, today's thought is, I am enough. I am enough. I have what it takes. Now I've heard that expression, I am enough. Uh, I think it was a Marissa Peer a YouTube video I watched and some other people. And it took me a long time to really fathom. What does it mean, I am enough? So it means warts and all. I am enough doesn't mean that I am perfect or that everything around me is perfect. And it doesn't mean that I don't want to stop growing as a person. We all have wants and needs and no one, even myself, is perfect. Um, but it means that we are happy with who we are. And I think crucially, we're in control of everything in our world. And what I mean by that is it's up to me to choose how I respond so I can't choose what happens to me. Things happen, COVID happens. You know, I can't, I'm not responsible for that, but I am responsible for my reaction to it and what I think up here and how I react. So this is me, this is who I am, and that's enough. And if I don't like who I am, it's up to me to change. What we're really talking about is taking ownership of who we are and the decisions we make. So our thought for the day is I am enough and it's taking extreme ownership of who we are and the decisions that we make. Right, it's time for our movement therapy to get us moving, to get us warmed up. We're gonna move our shoulders, our chest. We're gonna move our hips, 
our legs, our arms, in fact, everything. So follow me and uh, Mr. Brown Goes to Town by Sharky and his Sharks of Rhythm. Yes, I've used a lot of them recently. I do like that music. Okay, here we go. routine we're going to start with the classic 30s shag basic step and it's going to go a step hop step hop run run step hop step hop step hop step hop run run step hop step hop run run you can try it with me when we go on the left foot we go step hop step hop run run step hop run run step hop step hop run run step Hop, step, hop, run, run. And we're going to do it four times. Together, one more time. Five, six, five, six, seven. Step, hop, step, hop, run, run. 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 Then we go into a break. So we're standing on our right foot. We jump on the left and we put the heel dig in. And heel dig. So the rhythm is going to go and one, two, and three, four, and run, run. And one, two, and three, four, and run, run. On this side, standing on the right foot, we jump onto the left and one, hold two, and three, hold four, five, six. Five, six, here we go. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, and two, two, three, four, five, six, and three, two, three, four, five, six, and four, two, four, five, six. Four of our shank bases, basics, and four with the breaks. Four shank basics, four break basics. Five, six, five, six, seven. One, two, three, 
for one, two, three, four. From here we go into some classic trucking. And a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're here with our right foot in the air. We put the left foot down, we put it, turn the toe inwards, almost like we're not knees, and then you fan the toe out. Step in, fan, step back. Now, if you've not done trucking before, just do a basic variation. Just do step, hop, step, hop, step, hop, step, hop. Or if you have done trucking, try and get the rotation. One, two, two, four. Two eights worth. Now we're gonna add a short sequence of boogie backs and a step hop going forward. So the boogie backs, and to one, two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me turn around and break that down for you. So, boogie backs, eight and one. So I'm gonna clap, shuffle back. So I clap, right, left, clap, right, left, clap, right, left, clap, right, left. Except I'm gonna hold the last step. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, and three, four, and five, six, and hold. Now I'm gonna step down, one, and I'm gonna hop up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, drop eight for another set of boogie backs. Eight and one, two and three, four and five, six and seven. With this time hold, it's all walks forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold eight. Let me do that from the side. Boogie backs. We clap, jump back, clap, right, left, clap, right, left. Clap, right, hold. Hold the left foot up, because you're gonna step on it next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When I go forward, it ain't any normal going forward, it's gonna add a little shimmy. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shimmy. So move those shoulders. Quicker and quicker and quicker and shimmy. Try not to shimmy the hands or the hips, which is fine too, but it's mostly the shoulders. So I think one shoulder, the other shoulder, one shoulder, the other shoulder. Shimmy. As we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight and one, two, and three, five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, and seven. Finish with our last set going forward to finish that sequence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold eight, and go back to the beginning. Step, hop, step, hop, run, run, step, hop, run, run, step, hop, step, hop, run, run, step, hop. Breaks, and jump, and jump, run, run, and jump, and jump, run, run, and jump, and jump, run, run. Last one, trucking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Two, two, three, four, and back. Boogie back. Two, three, walks and shimmy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boogie back. Two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ready to start again. Hopefully you're with me on that. Let's try it with music. And we're going to let the first six eights go by. So we'll just sort of do a little bit of walking around and movement uh, until we're ready to start on our count of eight. Come on. 
till he be gone. From the top. He's got a straight swing, that's the very latest thing. Mr. Brown's working now. Never know how he goes. Because it's been done before. He never has a power, but the crew can't get him down. Mr. Brown's working now. Chuck. He is the sensation known throughout the nation. And his interpretation. Get it? If not, you're going to replay it and go over it again. Right, we're going to do a little bit of stretching to finish off our session. We are going to start with a pull and a fly, and a pull and a fly. Then turn around, knees bent, shoulder width apart, back straight, look straight ahead. Pull the arms back as so you're pulling something behind you, bring them forward, make sure you don't hit the curtain, and stretch them out. One and two. Right, let's do them together. We go. One, two, keep the knees bent. And pull and fly. And pulling and flying. Think fingertips go to the side. Yes, feel that stretch. And slide. And pulling and slide. And pulling and slide. And pulling and fly. And pulling and fly. Three more. Two more. One more. And stand up. Whew. Okay, we're going to think feet wide and shoulder width, and we're going to kick our back heel up behind us as though we're trying to hit our butt. And at the same time, you want to think push that thigh back. So not this. Mm -mm. Push that thigh back behind you. At the same time, we're going to get another stretch on the arms. We're going to take the arms across. So we go one, two. Three, I alternate crossing the arms. So right over the top, left over the top. You know, I'm not really counting, I'm just doing it till I feel it's time to stop. Keep the arms shoulder height, pull the thighs back, let me turn to the side. A few more, one, two, three, and rest. Get a little stretch of the quad as you do that. Okay, we're going to take a squat. We're going to stand up. But when we squat, we're going to think push the hips back. You're not going to let the knees go over the toes. You might only go this far. That's fine. You might go to 90 degrees, but we don't really want to go more than that yet because it's a bit tough on the knees. So I go just before. And then when we come up, we're going to lift the hand up, lift the ridge cage and stretch and drop and reach. But let's do it not too fast. So we drop down, go to the first side, reach up and over. Drop down, reach up and over. One more time. Down, think, lift the hand up, lift the rib cage up and stretch over. 
down and stretch, down and stretch. Well, I said stretching, but actually there's a bit more to it, isn't there? There's a little bit of exercise as well. We go down and over and down and over. Down. Reach up, reach up. You can do it. Oh, yes. Good stretch. Think tall, think tall. Think nice and shape. Think a nice shape. Nice and rounded. Stretch over and back. Stretch over and back. One more each side. Last one, last one coming up. Let's do it together. Down and reach. Over. Ah. We're going to keep the feet nice and wide. We're going to turn our head over one shoulder, chin low. We're going to rotate the shoulder. We're going to keep the knees and the hips fairly front. And we're just going to stretch behind. And we're going to hold it for 14 seconds. Look behind you. Keep the chin down. Come back. And let's turn the other way. So reach behind you. Look with the head. Turn the shoulders, but keep the hips and the knees bent, hips front, knees bent. Do it one more time. Carefully, slow, controlled, keep the tummy lifted. Look over your right shoulder. Make sure the knees are bent, no straight legs. Look over the right. Who's behind you? Who's behind you? And slowly come back. And look the other way. Well, I think we had quite a good workout today. Uh, certainly the, uh, the shag steps and the brakes got us moving. Um, I am enough. You gotta say that to yourself every day, I am enough. And what does it mean? That's the thought for the day. Thank you guys, see you tomorrow.